This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Annina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelie, Stray, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nurse, Nura, Matcha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kaylee, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Benna, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Caden, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxid, Nicole, Terry, and Hala. If you would like to support the channel and get some pretty cool perks, such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. <laughs> that is very nice of you. I'm glad that you think the back is looking okay, so when I turn around, hopefully you feel... <laughs> um, hi. You know, you could have fooled me. You really, really, really. Uh, I mean, you're you you look really composed right now. If that makes you feel any better. Meanwhile, uh I don't even know how I'm supposed to process this information. You know, on a, on a normal day, I would say, yeah, you know, like, uh, pinch me. Is this real? But I know you would actually do that. Uh, and you have pinched me before. And I know the bruises you're capable of leaving. So I'm not even going to say it. Yeah, I have, I've definitely wisened up in the past five years. Um, so how do we, how do we do this? Well, um, Lori and Tyler have set up a very, very nice dinner for us. And... We have the apartment to ourselves for the entire night. And the problem, even if we wanted to just dip out of here, is that I did promise them that I, I, would, <laughs> that I would feed Styler. They got you too on that. But there's no way they know, right? Yeah, there's no chance. They're, d d d we are completely s separated from them. I have. So d uh, before we even even start talking, do you want to like go through with this? I mean, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't want to, you know, considering. But we have like a three-course meal right here ready for us and I may or may not have had a little bit of the appetizer before you got here and by a little bit I mean just one one little piece and it is really good and regardless of <laughs> what we have between uh, each other any unresolved things, I'm not going to be as heartless as to let someone skip out on an amazing meal. Lori's cooking, you, 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 I guess you know, because you're friends with them, is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm friends with them. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, I'm going to, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to stroll over. To this other chair and pull it out 
and push it in. And there you are. You're welcome. You're welcome. So do you... Uh, I, I The food won't get cold because it's, it's, it's under the... The, like the steam is rising up and it's being contained in there. I I need we gotta like establish a baseline here before we even remotely move on, right? Okay, good, 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 good. What are you doing in Montana? Well, the thing is, if I remember correctly, it was L.A. or bust for you. Hey, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Come on. We are we are in our 20s now. I am not making fun of you. Uh, you you definitely had the chops to do so, but I am just confused as to why you're here regardless of if you didn't make it in la there's gotta be other places to be for you that are more your type of place than literally montana Yeah, that tracks for sure. Okay. Went out to California. Got some more commercials. Got a degree. At UCLA, which you said you were going to. But you are in Montana. We are both here in Montana. Oh. Oh. But I, th- I swear, I thought you were gonna go for like a, like an acting degree, right? Hmm. That's a shame because you 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 were like really good. <laughs> Come on, be serious. Duh. Of course I thought you were good at acting. Just because I didn't like you because you had to be the center of attention all the time. And our departments were constantly fighting for funding. No, that is exactly that you let's not look. Listen. I like to think that I'm able to look back on that time now with more clarity uh, and objectivity or as much as I can possibly muster up. I said you were super talented. You know I would have never said that in high school, but it's true. You were very talented. I know because I went to like every single one of your plays. Of course I did. I had to scout out the competition somehow. No, you were really, you were really good. But saying all that, all that aside, you did like the attention that was given to you. And that's not a bad thing, right? It's just, well, I thought it was a bad thing back then, but now, you know, it's just... It almost seemed more like just an understanding your worth and your talent and realizing that you were above everybody else there. And not in a bad way, you just had more talent, you know? I'm being so... <laughs> come on. I'm being so serious. Uh, I don't know what I can do to prove it to you, but I but know that I am being very genuine right now. Yeah, no, that that's fair. You gave me a good amount of info. Wait, no, you did give me a good amount of information, but you didn't answer my question. What are you doing in Montana? Like, I, I can understand getting your teaching degree because you thought it was a like a fallback in case you didn't get. But 
would I, I would think you would still be out in California chasing acting jobs and teaching there. So why are you in Montana? Oh my god, I am so sorry. I did not mean I hope I I hope that doesn't ruin whatever is going on right now. I did not mean f to come. It was just genuinely a shock for me and I didn't know that you, I, well obviously I wouldn't have known that your mom Okay. Thank you. I I appreciate it. I I I I still have that habit of just talking and not stopping the talking uh and sometimes my brain my, my mouth moves faster than my brain still i've really been working on it it's much better than it was in high school but okay sure we can we can switch the topic now yes Yeah, no, it's fair. Yeah, you gave me the information. I got to give it back to you. Uh, I... So I, I did what I said I would do. You know, I got the scholarship for baseball and I went down to Florida and it was really good and baseball went really good until it didn't. I mean, uh, I ruptured my Achilles and no more baseball. Yeah, in all honesty, it, it, it was at the time and then in the years after, like the immediate years, like one or two years in the future, it was devastating for sure. But I couldn't imagine myself being anywhere else than I am right now. Anyways, um, so after I ruptured my Achilles, I'd always put effort into education because I, I guess kind of like you, I always wanted there to be a backup plan for me just in case getting to the big leagues didn't work out. But then I super put myself into education to the point where I was taking like seven or eight courses a semester. And then I put myself into a master's program. Yeah. yeah, And I got the master's in a year. And uh, now I am a professor. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I think that's, you know, it, it surprised me just as much as it probably is surprising you right now. But I figured out that I love teaching. And uh, I, I figured out that I can really get to the i don't want to call them the kids because they're literally maybe five years six years younger than me but i can really uh speak to them in a way that a lot of professors can't and um i don't know i also i also am assistant coach on the baseball team so that's not a big league school or or, or like a division one but it's division three and it's it's really fun <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I'd say change is an understatement, probably. Uh, I went to a lot. I went to a lot. And I mean so much therapy after my Achilles ruptured because I was getting super, super sad. Uh, and I kind of got stuck in a rut. And I went there to cure, or not cure, but help out my depression and try and get to the root of why I was feeling the way I was feeling because of the Achilles and I ended up just kind of going there for a year and a half and discovering so many different things about myself and the way, why the way I was and the faults that I had in my past and 
it was an amazing experience and uh i don't know i would not be friends with with someone like Lori if i it, it, like that is one of the sweetest human beings in the world and we both know i'm i'm assuming you are decent friends with them at least yes we know that Lori is an amazing judge of character so <laughs> yeah and styler does love me too so uh it, if that counts for anything. I know. I haven't stopped smiling. And that is because this is... I just... I guess I could have never imagined this scenario in my wildest dreams. But how did you meet them, though? Like, 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 how, how did you get around? Wait, oh, okay. Hold on a second. Do you, like, do you live here? Like, do you actually live in Bozeman? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, how long have you been living here? Now I now I know Bozeman isn't the smallest town, but we live in Montana, and the fact that we've lived in the same town for a year now, and we haven't met each other, and we've had mutual friends, isn't my mind my mind is blown right now. <laughs> this isn't this is no 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 never mind. Uh, never mind because. Uh, we have been talking for a while and I said this was just to establish a baseline. I feel like we've established that baseline and I don't want the food to get cold. I know I said that the steam is permeating inside of the dish and it's making sure that it doesn't, but uh, you can never be too safe. Uh, plus, I know what they put in the lasagna. Oh, I ruined it. I ruined it. I, did. I wasn't supposed to ruin it, but I did. Uh, it's fine. All right. Uh, so do you want to eat? Oh, I can eat and talk at the same time. You know, I have a big mouth and, you know, we, we can definitely do that. No, you, but the thing is that you are so right. I, back then, I thought I was, because, you know, head of the baseball team, uh, multi-sport athlete and, and you you get into this like super hyper team mentality where it's you against you have to put yourself against another person and the way that the coaches utilized our passion for sports to turn us into like weapons against a system was was in, why did they do that? The fact that they were doing that to teenagers and, and the theater department was doing that to you. And now that I know that, it was all a lie. Like everything that our rivalry or whatever you want to call it was based on was a lie essentially manufactured by these teachers. They're not even professionals in their department, like, you don't have a professional theater person. I didn't have a professional sports person. These were teachers trying to procure extra funding and potentially extra salary. What? And they used us in order to get that. What? That That's a movie. That's a movie. That is a film. And we, and we lived it. <laughs> no wonder we disliked each other so much we thought it was like almost like we were recruited for the army and we, you know and, and we were pledging our loyalty to something that we wouldn't even be a part of in another two years i feel bamboozled do you feel bamboozled good because honestly like very seriously I, we, we like yelled at each other when we were getting on each other's nerves, but 
I don't ever remember having a, a true sit down conversation with you. And I know we both changed from when we were in high school. But, but the foundation of a person is still there. And I think if we had a sit down conversation, we would very much, or at least somewhat, enjoy each other, right? Exactly, because I, I still had the same music taste. I still had the same film taste. I still had the same weather preferences. You know, I still liked... Yes, that is what I was going to say. But to be fair, to be fair, <laughs> I never auditioned because, I don't know, I guess I didn't watch High School Musical early enough. I didn't realize that you could do both theater and sports. No, I don't know. I just had too much on my plate. Okay, so what? I can I can recite the entirety of Bye Bye Birdie. I guess maybe I could have been in plays or whatever you want to say, but So do you like it here? I don't know. I just, you know, we both had very, very, very different futures planned in much more tropical locations or warmer climates at least and more populated areas, probably. And we, I had both projected probably more, what's the word for it? Uh, highfalutin lifestyles. <laughs> I don't know why I said highfalutin. I saw it in a video and I said, no, yeah, no, that, that that's that's a great way to say bougie. And I could have just said bougie, but I but I didn't. So, but now we're both in Montana and we're both teaching people stuff. And that's so odd, right? No, I. You're right, and I agree with you. I, I, I kind of, I think I said before that now that I'm here living this life, I think I like this little life. No, um, now that I'm living the life that I'm living, I couldn't imagine living anything else. You know. And I, and I mean that wholeheartedly. I I could not imagine traveling, uh every single week to a different city going around and diving all over a field for three and a half hours <laughs> yeah exactly it's basically the same thing right no hear me out it's basically like you're on set for a whole day and you're doing what you're assigned to do. I'm on a field for a whole day. And I'm doing what I'm assigned to do. We're both paid professionals uh, to provide entertainment. I know sports is not technically under that umbrella. But it's to entertain people. So I will count it as such. Go ahead. All of the awkwardness has to be broken at this point, right? Why, thank you. I always knew you were eloquent because, again, I saw all of your plays. Uh, but I, I appreciate the compliment. Which, once again, you not knowing that makes sense because we never had a face-to-face sit-down conversation. Yeah, if I wasn't so stubborn, I probably would have tried to make peace between the departments. But then we would have uncovered the fact that a bunch of middle-aged people were trying to secure tenure and using us militantly. I, I still can't get over that. 
Once again, you can ask me anything. Uh, we are far past any boundaries at this point. Frankly, we're past any boundaries, the, the, all of the boundaries that a blind date should have. So fire away, uh, as Sia would say in the hit song Bulletproof by her and David Guetta. I think that is. Anyways, <laughs> go go ahead. Yeah, sorry. All right. Interesting exercise. I'm I'm down to see where it goes. Eyes are closed. I don't know. I haven't used my imagination in a pretty long time, but let's see if I can make it work. Mm hmm. All right, and what does she look like? This hypothetical blind date. I see. Am I allowed to give my opinion or no? Okay, I'm sorry. I guess, you know, when you're so ingrained in the sports world, you're used to giving play-by-play -play commentary. I'll stop. Oh, that sounds that sounds familiar, yeah. No recollection at all? No so no knowledge of anything whatsoever other than what has happened on this hypothetical blind date. Okay, useful piece of information. I will I will take that and store it away. Continue. All right. Okay. I think I have my answer for sure. Repeat. Repeat it, repeat it all back. So this is a quiz. You, yeah, am I getting one upped again? Okay, all right. Uh, just just to ensure that I know what I'm talking about. Sure. So I'm on this blind date, and I'm on this blind date with a woman who, from from the physical attributes that you described and also the personal attributes that you described seemed very similar to the person that is sitting in front of me right now. And in this hypothetical scenario, we have no idea who each other are, is. I don't know the proper tense for that. Sorry. <laughs> Super attractive. He doesn't know grammar. <laughs> Uh, and in this hypothetical situation, of course, these two people, me and the person I'm on a blind date with, hit it off so well to the point where the person that I'm talking to is very interested. Perhaps in a second date, perhaps in something more than just simply dating, and you would like to know my response to this purely, purely hypothetical situation. Well, my response is, is a very simple one. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I just got to... Uh, um, no, yeah, no, I have to just... There's some business I have to take care of on that side of the table that you're on right now? Yeah. Hey, uh, wow, that food. 
Leftovers looks good. You probably even pack that up. Quick question for you. Hypothetically, of course, right? This And this is all hypothetical. If I was into this person as much as they, the hypothetical person, were into me, and I agreed that we should definitely go on another date, if not potentially enter a longer lasting relationship because we're in Bozeman, Montana and the prospects are slim here. He's obviously, I'm obviously joking when I say this to the hypothetical person, it's obviously because we hit it off so well. Uh, <laughs> how would you recommend me going about that? Okay, lay it on me. I would, I, I would love your personal and professional advice. And what would that question be? All right, I, I, I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Uh, just, you just gotta wish me luck, okay? All right. Hey, you. Yeah, you. The shock, the shock twist, I think, of this whole story is that you are the hypothetical person. Now tell me if I'm wrong. I'm completely off base here. And there's just been another blind date going on that is having a different retelling in a different location. But I think it's you. And based on the advice I was just given by someone who really seems to know what they're talking about, I was wondering if I could perhaps uh, do the honor of giving you a kiss. Of course. I truly cannot believe how this night has gone. Uh, the first moment that I saw you, I thought it was going to be a disaster. Um, and then immediately, the moment I heard your voice and saw it come out of your mouth, there was a certain calm that came over me. There were there, You were obviously a very different person than you were in high school. I'm obviously a very different person than I was in high school. And even when we were in high school, all of that rivalry was completely uh, fake and stirred up by middle-aged people who, when we go back to our high school reunion, we are going to tell them off if they are still there. Um, and I can think of nothing better or no one better to continue investing my time in than you. I mean it wholeheartedly. So we are really going to have to thank Lori, huh? But wait, oh wait, oh wait, uh, I should ask you. Uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Well, if I remember correctly... We were in the same party for prom. And I know exactly what we did after prom. When we went bowling. And you smoked me. And I was feeling like maybe a rematch. Was in order perhaps. It is on. It is absolutely on. And somebody's going down. Either you or me. Would you like to go bowling with me tomorrow? Evening, of course. We could maybe get uh, dinner. Uh, there's this new taqueria that just opened up. In Montana. Yes, crazily enough. <laughs> the only way you can imagine spending tomorrow night. Well... That is wonderful to hear. <laughs> so as I was saying, we are going to have to thank Lori, right? Yeah. Apparently she's done this for like so many of her friends. It, it, to the point where she's almost labeled as a professional matchmaker. It's kind of crazy, right? Very impressive. 
Hopefully, she will have another couple to add to her repertoire. 